Hello, I'm Tyler Moses with CamLogic. I'm an application engineer, and today I'll be talking about NX Mock Bundles. NX Mock Bundles have many great capabilities that each user is able to implement differently depending on the projects they are tasked. These demonstrations are sped up, so please do not focus on the mouse clicks I am making in the settings and navigation tabs of NX, but instead, how you would be able to implement these features into everyday CAD solutions to save your company time and productivity on projects. Today, I will be showing off NX, NX Mach 1's synchronous technology by showing a part of a sawzall case and ribbing a section. Next, I will have the full assembly and edited part side by side to show off in real time what will happen to the sub-assemblies and parts when the top level assembly gets changed. Lastly, I will talk about the uh, integration of TeamCenter and how we can use synchronous technology for your data. So inside this demonstration, we have sectioned the full case using a datum plane, then sectioned again using the ZX axis. Now using the shelling feature, this part is hollowed out with three millimeter walls, uh, and I will be using a pre-built sketch to attach the ribbing to the right side handle case. Ribbing is another feature to utilize. It has the ability to work around unique shapes and angles, like this handle. The ribbing in the demonstration is created from a simple sketch I stored in the reuse library. The reuse library is undervalued and can save your engineers time on duplicating sketches, 2D sections, user-defined features, and many others. Now we will be adding a measurement to one of the ribbed walls to see how it will be affected when the full assembly is edited. This can save your company time on projects because the adjustments we are making are synchronized technology inside NX will update the rest of the parts and dimensions that are affected by this change. And as we can see the length of the measurement of this rib. The synchronous technology can be used outside of the functionality and features inside NX and the data because all levels of NX mock bundles have the integration ability with TeamCenter. One of the Team Center's many abilities is data management, which NX users can use to their advantage by saving time searching and filtering for names of parts. Mach 1 is a great product that can benefit your company in many ways, but Mach 2 has even more features and functionalities, one being PMI, or Product Manufacturing Information. PMI can be a very personalized and adaptive tool that can be customized to benefit your company. One way PMI can benefit your company is when adding to 3D model. It can be used by downstream applications for manufacturing, assembly planning, variational analysts, inspection, and collaboration. PMI created with NX complies with the industry standard for 3D digital product definitions. And 3D models with PMI can be used as a replacement for drawings. Another great feature is the ability to display the product and management information into assemblies and can use assembly filters to detect what information from the PMI content will be displayed. PMI can give dimensions of custom holes and threads by displaying any required information. PMI also has the ability to add notes to specific dimension values, which can prevent any confusion on what value a note might be referring to. Lastly, I will be talking about Mach 3. One great feature inside of NX Mach 3 that I'll be showing off today is realized shape features. And inside of this, I'll be using the primitive shapes to turn a raster image of a sawzaw case into a 3D sawzaw case mold. I'm going to adjust the finished assembly and change the active part to before the sawzaw case was created and use this rasper image uh, to form a new sawzaw case. Because this is an image, I don't have any points of connection for my primitive shape, which means I will need to freeform the primitive shape using just the rasper image as a guide. Some of the features that I'll be using to help me through that during this demonstration include transfer form cage, split face, and sew cage. We have a general shape for the base of the case mold and have used the split face feature to divide the primitive shape into seven vertical sections, which if we had 
If we had to be more accurate, then we could add more sections on the X or Y axis. But for now, we're just going to try and get the mold to come as close to the raster image as we can. Just transfer, the transform cage feature allows you to either select multiple points or choose specific points. Uh, to these features allowing the engineers to save time and be more accurate. As you can see throughout this demo, I have the ability to hide and show sub-assemblies to the current active part to verify that they will stay inside of the constraints that are required for the task. So for this example, we're able to hide and show the inside of the sawzall and compare it to what the outside of the case is going to look like. All levels of NX Mach have the feature called Edit Object Display, which I've been utilizing in all three NX Mach demonstrations. This feature allows users to select objects and change some display settings, including color, line style, line width, translucency, and many others. Currently, I'm showing off the translucency feature because for this project, we need to be able to see through to the rasp per image into the background of the primitive shape. Edit objects of display can be a great feature to adjust individual objects inside of large assemblies depending on the request of the task. Now that the handle has been so caged, I can use the fill surface feature to close off any open faces so that I can unite the handle and the body of the case mold I created. We can clean up the object using Edge Blend. NX is a powerful and customizable integrated solution that helps deliver better products faster and more efficiently as shown from this demonstration of primitive shapes from the relative shapes. All levels of NX Mach allow the integration of TeamCenter, which allows NX users to centralize their data and processes. TeamCenter has the ability to restrict certain access or allow complete access to users depending on their groups and roles, which can improve your company's organization, time, and cost on projects. With any further questions, feel free to reach out to our website at camlogic.com. From here, you'll be able to go to our Contacts tab on the top right of our screen. And by inserting your information, a CamLogic employee will be informed and will be able to reach out to you answering any of your questions.